Hello and welcome to Transmitting Until Robots Replace Us. My name is Drew, call sign AC3DS. I'm glad that you're here. Today's two minute tutorial is all about how you can record the fullness of your contacts, your conversations, your QSOs with uh, your ICOM 7300. And we're gonna do that in two minutes. So let's put two minutes on the clock. You're about to make a really awesome contact and you wanna record it for posterity. So how do you do it? The first thing is make sure that you have an SD card in the machine. Then you're gonna to wanna to go to menu, set, SD card, and make sure that you have previously formatted the card. If it's already formatted, you don't need to do this ever again. Next, after that, you're gonna to wanna to go to menu and make sure that your record settings are properly set. So I'm gonna go here to recorder set, but before that note, play files is here and that's where you're, where you're going to go to listen to the files afterwards. Uh, alternatively, you can take the SD card and put it into a computer and listen to it there. But let's go to the recorder settings. I'm gonna go up here to the top and I'm gonna say my record mode is gonna be both the transmit and receive audio. I'm gonna say for my transmit record audio, I'm gonna choose direct, I'm not using the monitor, so it's just straight through the uh, through the mic, uh, so we're just gonna leave it at that. Then for the receive record condition, I'm gonna choose always because I wanted to record the noise that's in between the transmit and the receive. So that general background noise, I don't want it to record only when the squelch gets opened up. Then for the file split, I leave this turned off because that leaves me with one really long audio file of the whole conversation, as opposed to a series of small separate uh, conversations. The push to talk auto record and that I have set as being on which means that as soon as I press the push to talk button it starts recording. Finally the pre-record the pre for push to talk auto record is set to 15 seconds for me because there's a buffer in the machine that allows it to keep in storage essentially the last 15 seconds of audio whatever that might be and it can automatically save that if needed. So I've got that set and now let's go back to the scope view. And how do we actually do a recording? Well, you do that by clicking quick, then hit record start. And now that it's recording, you are good. And then you can always stop it by clicking quick again, record stop. You can also do it by clicking the push to talk button and then it's recording. And then you can always click the record button there and choose stop recording. There you have it.